What is up you guys, it's Bolty98 and I hope you're having a great day today because we got Modern Warfare 3 campaign premiere and we are going to be talking all about it right here. Let's get it. So the Modern Warfare 3 campaign premiere came out today and if you guys want to go watch it for yourselves and then come back to this video, you can. The link's down in the description. But we get some... There's going to be some screenshots throughout the video of it so you can see what it looks like. But it seems like we just got our first mission completely played through. Um, and it looks really nice. Like the way everything looks, it might just be the most futuristic looking COD that I've ever seen. It looks like I'm really in that war zone in the water or, you know, in the rain. Like it just looks so good. I mean, in my personal opinion, best looking COD campaign I've seen ever. But I don't play many of the campaigns, so I'm not sure. It's been a while since I have. I don't. I think the last one I might have played was Cold War. So, well, I don't even think I had Next Gen at the time. So, now with this Next Gen graphics, this looks amazing. It looks too good to be, like, a video game. It looks like I'm really there. So, it looks super cool. It looks like we do play through the first mission where we kind of seen in the campaigns and stuff. We also get a feel for some of the guns. Like, here you see that the hybrid holographic site is back where you can switch from the ACOG to the Red Dot site. It is back, and it looks like the red dot is a lot smaller than it is in Modern Warfare 2, but maybe that's just for this one reticle. Also, we see this gun get picked up, if you look, it is the Scorpion Evo. So we do have confirmation that the Scorpion Evo is coming back in the style of, like, the Black Ops 3 version, or Black Ops 2 version, um, when, you know, Scump used it and all that uh, on slums, and that's the best way I remember how this gun was used, but it's going to be that Black Ops style Scorpion Evo instead of the Modern Warfare 2 2009 one. Also, we see this door again that we got text uh, in the text messages. It's the end of the mission or the end of our campaign premiere. So it basically is breached open and you kind of see Modern Warfare 3 and it promotes, you know, the pre-orders and all this and that again. So we're not sure what is behind this door, but they've been promoting this door like crazy. So I'm super ready to see what is behind the door. Um, the premiere was really awesome. I really enjoyed it. I think if you guys go watch it and if you did watch it let me know what you thought of it down below because like i said it was really astonishing how well everything looked um in my opinion i just really loved it uh with the looks and the graphics and everything just seemed super good so i want to know down below what you guys thought of it did you guys think it looked good as well or did you think it was kind of and man, a little bit better couldn't hurt or what do you guys think I, like i said i haven't played campaign in a while so i'm going purely off this and Cold War's campaign. So I haven't played campaign since Cold War, so I don't know how it looked graphically. But based off Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer experience, this game looks insanely realistic. And I don't know, I like it, but I don't like it if it was in multiplayer, probably just because I feel like when you get too realistic of a looks, then it kind of like throws off, you know, the fact that it is a game and they get too realistic with skins and stuff. But I've had that conversation with you guys before. Let me know down below what you guys think of the campaign premiere as this is our first first actual in-game content video that Call of Duty's released and it's only going to get more and more from here. Hopefully we can get the multiplayer version of it real soon. I was kind of getting a little worried we weren't going to have a video to post today because nothing's really been dropping as much. So as much as I want to keep covering Call of Duty on the channel and I am going to, it might just get a little repetitive with some things. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it, let me know down below what you thought of this campaign premiere. This was just kind of like a recap of it. I didn't like really, you know, write down notes of what I saw. It was just kind of like recapping how well it looked and what it looked like and basically what it was. It's pretty much the first mission. The mission that they've basically been putting in every trailer with the water and stuff. The only one... I think besides this that we haven't seen that they've put in campaigns is no Russian, which that could be coming out very soon on their channel also. So I will keep you up to date. Remember to smash the subscribe button, like, and share if you feel like it was good enough. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, fellas.